Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be testing out gas mining in Nullsec. I've not tried this ever before. I've only done gas mining previously in a wormhole space, but this will be my first time doing it in Nullsec. We'll be giving it a go in the prospect. Previously when I've been doing gas mining, it's only been with a venture. So this is the first time also using a prospect for gas mining. It's also carrying here warp core stabilizer. This was a fit I found yeah, that was recommended in the like, fitting tab. Um, I've never used a warp core stabilizer since the changes were made to them. So it seems like maybe that you just activate it and then you're able to warp off, maybe? And there's a bit of a cooldown as well. Oh, that's a long cooldown. Okay, we'll go and look for some gas sites. Encounters. And go in cosmic signatures. See if we can find a place with lots of cosmic signatures. Three, six, four signatures here. Okay, we'll go there. Carrying the Garista skin. I think the Garista skin looks really cool on these mining ships. Makes them look a little bit more evil. The Prospect is a covert ops capable ship, so you're able to warp around like this really sneakily. Oh, I probably also should have carried a mobile depot actually, because then I could refit in the space if there was not like a structure nearby. In most of these systems, there seems to be structures, but. If there isn't, I'll at least be able to refit. Because there's a little bit of an issue with this ship here. Oh, close proximity in any or There must have been like something that warped just past us or something that decloaked us. <laughs> we decloaked mid-warp. You see the way the slots are here. You're made to have two gas harvesters, but then you cannot carry a cover ops and scan at the same time. So I'm just going to carry a scanner here. And then see if we can find any gas sites. Let's scan down these ones. You can also have the anomalies on, perhaps. Don't know if you can find anything cool there. Wormhole? I'm not interested in that. I could go to a wormhole to search for the gas sites, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward because then we have to keep a really keen eye on the D scan. We've got no local chat there. I want to focus more on low sec. Uh, I want to focus more on null sec right now. Pristine white glaze belt. Hmm. Oh, there's a mecoxid deposits. Look at that. Mecoxid deposit. Ooh. Let's go there. I've never mined mecoxid before, but that's the most valuable one. Let's check that out. We might actually have to change our plan here and actually go and mine these. Is this able to use... Uh, mining. Okay, so we can actually with the prospect go also with a miner. See that mining. Oh, there is some mecoxid here. Let's go on quickly and get some uh, miners. Let's do that instead of gas mining. So this is a bit of a change of plan now. We're going to have to go for the mecoxid. Uh, mecoxid deposit. Okay, where is the closest trade hub? Brave keep. Let's go there. Well, I should have carried all these on my okay. cargo hold because then I can fit straight away without having to warp all over the place. But you sort of really live and you learn, you know. What kind of mining yield do we have here with this one? We put deep core. Not particularly high here. Seven point three is still decent. Previously, when we were using an endurance, we were looking for mecoxid. Now we finally found it, it seems. I'm going to check which is the good mining crystal. High residues and low reliability. We want high reliability. So we want type A crystals. Dock up here. What's the endurance? What kind of mining capabilities does this get? If we put a deep core on this. 9.4, okay. So we actually get more when mining in the... In the prospect, it seems. Let's get a mobile depot. Mobile depot. So we just have one for the future. Deep core. Modulated deep core miner. Mericoxit. Mining crystal type A is what we want. Get a couple of these. And there we go. And get these here. We've got everything equipped now. 
Let's go and equip the miners. Oh, we got everything in the cargo bay so we can swap items if need be. That's interesting. That it seems like the prospect is able to get more yield than the endurance. Similar at least. Because you get about 12 on the endurance M3 a second. You get similar here with two of these lasers as well. There it is. Small macoxit. Let's go there. I wonder if you can see adjacent systems if there's anything there. It'd be quite cool if we go on encounters or maybe exploration and anomalies. Or maybe resource harvesting. Or anomalies. Medium, small macoxit. Oh, there's also some macoxit here. Hmm, they can go there next. There's one here, let's get that. That juicy ore. Wait, we need a lot of capacitor. Maybe if we put this offline. Oh, we need a ton of capacitor to be able to use these modules. I didn't know that. It seems like a very energy craving process mining these macoxit asteroids. So as far as I know, these mining crystals, they do uh, deplete in terms of their like uh, charges or how much. Oh, there's people here. Let's uh, align out very slowly. And Ishtar. But I don't want to lose this. This is the most valuable ore. Each M3 here is worth, I think, over a thousand isk. That's a lot because we get a thousand M3 every two minutes. So that means basically two million here, or two million in total, I guess. Two million every two minutes, so one million a minute. Okay, so it's not so much, 60 million isk an hour, but it's quite a bit for mining compared to what we've been doing previously. Let's completely eradicate this macoxit belt mining hold. 12.12 and a half thousand m3 okay let's check this out now we're gonna get our first scoop oh nice macoxit someone's attacking us we take a bit of damage what do we take damage from residue of zero units okay that's good Okay, 1.8 million worth of macoxit. Nice. Doesn't seem like this is taking 5% damage. Okay, so you do take a bit of damage. Oh, it seems like when you... Uh, oh, mining pollution cloud. It seems like when you mine one of these, take a bit of damage. <laughs> makes mining a bit more interesting. Thought someone had warped in here and started attacking me without me noticing. Feels a lot better than mining stuff like kernite and getting really little amounts of isk. But you have to also use these uh, mining crystals. They're worth quite a bit of isk. It's not like they're completely we're going in and get mining for free. We have to also invest a little bit in terms of our ammo. We could perhaps deploy empty MOR depot so we can refit here. Magma macoxit. Okay, I don't know how good that is. Magma macoxit, 38k per unit. Oh, this is more valuable actually than normal macoxit. 40 M3 per unit. Magma is pretty good. And vitreous. There's also this one here. I'm just cycling these mining lasers just in case so that. I don't just waste time mining and then it's anyway just the asteroid is depleted. Oh, we've gathered quite a bit of M3s. 20 units of Macoxit. That's actually quite cool because I think that We'll be able to earn almost the ship's value back. No, never mind. We want four times this amount. So that'll be 12 minutes. It's not the ship's value back. But it shouldn't take too long to fill our cargo hold at least. We're mining quite efficiently here. Oh, maybe it's not a good idea that I keep cycling through. Maybe it's increased likelihood that it takes damage, actually. 
maybe remove this and put the clocking device on uh, or the core probe scanner then we can scan these other signatures down the asteroid is depleted asteroid depleted okay the asteroid is depleted let's go to this vitreous one we can maybe grab this one it's empty. We can grab their mobile depot and just pull it in. Oh, we can't actually because we don't have enough cargo space due to us having the cloaking device taking up so much space. Oh, that's annoying. Wormhole. And a cosmic signature. Okay, let's check this out here. The Vitreous Mecoxid. Relic site, nice. Look, we're finding relic sites and we don't want to find that. That's annoying. There must be a high tier one here. Look at that. Unfortunately, we don't have a data analyzer or relic analyzer in our cargo. Otherwise, we could have refit to it. Rune Christus Crystal Quarry. That's actually a very good one. This is a quite profitable system here. Can't seem to scan this down because the prospect doesn't have good enough scanning capabilities. Only 69 points here. We filled up half of our cargo hold at least. Didn't have that toxic thing actually go on when we mined the other one, I believe. I didn't notice it. Oh, our crystals have taken some damage now. Now it's 10% here and 5% here. Oh, there's more sisters core scanner probes as well. More people exploring. Probably that crystal quarry is going to be taken very soon. We're mining my coxit in the meantime. Okay, we've depleted the asteroid now. There's no more my coxit. Everything is properly mined. Almost got a full cargo here. Nice to see. And that was 8 million isk. So it's still not amazing amounts of risk. But this is the highest tier of ore you can get. But we're also using a little frigate. And we didn't mine for too long as well. We've been only mining here for a little bit over 15 minutes. Not the best amount of risk, but it's something, it's something. I think it's pretty cool to have, for the first time, mined the most valuable ore in EVE. I've never done that before. But next time I would like to actually check out, see if we can find some gas sites. That would be quite interesting to see if we can find. Until then, we're going to take a little bit of a break. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.